Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston. Molly Corp over 73 bucks. Everybody's raising their estimates for Molly Corp performance. Remember, they're the only U.S. rare earth-based company, only U.S. rare earth mining operation. Keep this in mind. The Chinese have clearly established, there's no question about it, uh, a policy of monopoly. So they're holding on to their rare earths, and they don't give a darn about what the effect is on the rest of the world. So rare earth prices will continue to accelerate. Molycorp, a great stock still. Don't forget to get on this train. Molycorp is really going much farther. Now, in addition, as we look at the gold area, we saw another record yesterday in gold. Why do we believe gold is going to continue to outperform? Demand is increasing supply is not meeting demand and in some cases as in South Africa supply has actually decreased what does that tell you in a commodity market the price of gold will continue to go up now I'm not even dealing with the economics and the political issues and the emotional issues attendant upon the rise in gold the fact of the matter is I think Ireland was added to somebody's watch list today no news to our uh, our listeners and our readers the fact of the matter is, there's a whole bunch of Europe's going down the toilet. The Germans are, are the guys, as it were, the lady with the gold. So uh, they're calling the shots, and people don't like it, and they don't want to follow the direction the Germans have set. And it's just going to be a period of prolonged difficulty in the euro. I want to remind you, the only reason the euro hasn't fallen off the planet is because people don't want to own dollars, and euros are the only market broad enough to hand deep enough to handle significant infusions of uh, countries and sovereign wealth uh, investment. Uh, 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 my, my English might be my native language, but the idea is sovereign wealth countries, sovereign wealth funds, actual countries need really deep markets in order to invest in, and the euro is the only alternative to the dollar. So expect the euro to decline. Expect the dollar to be real weak and expect the U.S. Treasury Department to do not much about that because it helps our exports. Now, lastly, um, because of the nature of our work being located south of the city, you know, we're always traveling across Boston. I got to tell you, I don't know where this recovery is. It takes 25 minutes to get from one end of Boston to the other. And the reason for that is there's no traffic. Now, that same trip, even adjusting for our famous big dig, used to be 50 minutes or an hour of concentrated, pain-in-the-butt uh, traffic. Now, you just cruise from one place to another. And the fact of the matter is, what this indicates to me, personally, is that there is no recovery in downtown Boston. And if there is no recovery in downtown Boston, there is no recovery out on 128 and 495. So where is the recovery in Massachusetts? Again, the numbers look terrific. But when we try to drive around, which is a sign of what's really going on, there's no traffic. So aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Load up on MCP. Have a great weekend.